Hi, welcome to Fiber Love Diary. I'm Trish if we haven't met, and if we haven't met, welcome back. Today I am planning to spin the Camel Down that we received in the September Paradise Fibers package. I'm going to go through the unboxing, and then I'll be talking about it a little bit while I'm doing the spinning. So I have the finished yarn at the end. I hope you will stick around and check it out. So I'm spinning it. I started out with a short forward draw and I was getting a really nice super thin yarn but it was very smooth and I was looking at this and thinking that it's very similar to like baby mohair or um, angora kind of and also kind of to cashmere based on different aspects of it. It's really short, I'm gonna show you. Like this is how long I'm gonna put it against my black sweatshirt and never ever get it off. It's short, staple, and it has very little to no crimp. It, it has a little crimp, but it's very little. It's hard to spin, honestly, and it's a little slippery. The worsted drafting style was, I was like, I wonder if I can get this to spin, um, not long draw exactly, but with a woolen draft, and it works great. So I'm gonna quick try and show you the difference. So you can see up against my black sweatshirt, almost black sweatshirt, that a lot of the little fuzzies are sticking out on the single. I wanted that. So when I drafted it with a worsted drafting style, it was much smoother. I didn't take a picture of it then, but you could see that that was kind of fuzzing up and that's what I want for this lace weight. So I am going to go ahead and spin the rest of it with that woolen drafting style. This lets off on everything. Literally anything it touches, it's going to leave some fuzz on it. So I am spinning it straight out of a plastic bag, a good old Walmart bag, um, on my lap because I don't, I felt like I was losing a <laughs> fiber. So I'm going to spin for a little while. And also, guys, this is Ollie. He is my grandson, kind of. Ollie and he is a long-haired chihuahua. His mama is moving in the next few days and she did not want him to be in the house while the doors were open and things were moving in and out and everything. So we're just gonna watch him for a few days. He's visiting. Because it's so short, I meant to say, I have it on my fastest whirl so that the wheel is really spinning fast. Uh, it just basically because the shorter the fiber is, the more twist you need to hold it together and that will give me more twist if I have it on the smallest whirl. I'm finding out that it's very easy to spin it quite fine and um, I'm really enjoying spinning it. It's going to take me a while to get through a whole four ounces and I don't know what I'm going to make yet. I thought my plan would be that I will see what I get for yardage. I'm going to do two ply and I do believe that I'm going to come up with a lace weight. It won't be a super super like cobweb waist, lace weight but it will be definitely a lace weight based on what I've been getting when I apply back and I thought well I'll just figure out what I get in yardage when I'm all done and then I will pick a pattern there's so many patterns that I think like shawls that would be beautiful and four ounces should be plenty so yeah we're gonna find something cool after I'm all done
I'm finally ready to ply. I probably should have showed these really up close. I, I grabbed my shocked Lady Kate because these singles are delicate and this is the one that spins the most easily. I don't want any drag because I'm afraid they might snap. I put a lot of twist in these because the fiber's so short. Yeah. But I'm still just fearful. Oh, here, perfect. John's right here. So yeah, that... Hit the like button. <laughs> that's both the singles. They're just super, super thin. And because the fiber's so short, that makes it a little more delicate. Even with a lot of twist, I'm just concerned. So I've got the lightest tensioned Lazy Kate I own. Um, while I was spinning this, I was thinking a lot about what it reminds me of because it kind of reminds me of a few different things. But I have to say that probably the closest is Kid Mohair. I feel like it's just got a little shine to it like Kid Mohair can and it's super short and it just has that like tendency to get sort of fuzzy, which is not a bad thing. But like I said, it's pretty delicate. So that's what it reminded me of. But it also has some characteristics of like Angora and um, like some kinds of alpaca. So it was really fun and interesting to spin. I probably wouldn't have bought myself this. So that's one of the things I like about Paradise is like, even though I might have looked at it and said, Oh, that's really interesting. Like, that's really cool. I probably wouldn't have bought it. So because I got it in that package, it was really fun to try out. And I will probably spin it again. We're all done. Um, I never leave some on a bobbin like some people do when they're plying, especially, well, really with anything, but especially with a two ply because that probably got me 10 or 15 more yards and that could be the difference for what project I can do. So it's, to me, that's very important to use all my singles. Let's go count yardage, yay. I'm finally done. This is interesting to film in this bowl since the bowl is like almost the same color inside, but 
I got 608 yards. I'm very happy with this. Let's come in closer. Um, it is a heavier lace weight. I would say it is more like the mid range. Uh, I mean, it's a heavier lace weight. I would expect to get 400 yards of fingering weight about out of this. So 608 is definitely lighter than fingering. It was really, really wonderful to spin. I liked it so much and I would love to have more. I'm going to start looking for a pattern for what I'm gonna do with this. And um, people ask me a lot, how do I measure my yardage? So I actually wind it on my Swift, which does a two yard hank. And I don't worry about bounce back. I just keep in the back of my mind that that's how I did it. Uh, I actually think, and this is just a personal opinion, that there's just so much overcomplication of certain things that can be so simple. And that's one of the things that I sort of feel is overcomplicated. And I also think in mills, they're measuring yardage with some tension on it. So I do not stress about it, but I'm really happy. It's beautiful. I will be dyeing it. It's not a good color for me, but it is a beautiful natural color. And um, I just really enjoyed this. So I hope if you're spinning it, this helps you. And I will see you guys soon. Thanks. I love you. Bye.